Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Brunch Break episode 18. My name is Mrs. Lovechard and the founder of lovechard.com and NutriBabeNation.com. And I am here to share with you my 80 pound weight loss story, how I did it, tips and tricks. This is why I come on Brunch Break every single Tuesday to share with you and this is why I coach others. Um, so today I want to talk about the five things that I didn't expect to happen when I was losing over 80 pounds or as I was losing weight. Um, so many things of course came with weight loss and it wasn't just the number on the scale, it wasn't just smaller skin. It was, you know, a ton of things that I didn't didn't expect. So I'm going to share with you five of those today to kind of give you an inside look of some other things that happen and change as we change our nutrition, as we change our lifestyle, and as we continue to make this a lifestyle and not just a temporary fad or a diet, one of those restrictive diets. So the first thing that I did not expect to happen as I was losing over 80 pounds was my fingers and my feet to shrink. I'm talking like by a lot. Um, I used to wear a size like 10 or 11 ring and my wedding ring now is uh, seven and it comes right off. And my feet, I did not expect to have to get rid of all my shoes. <laughs> I had to get rid of all of my shoes because uh, there was so much inflammation everywhere in my body. I mean, it's only natural that when I started eating a diet that was promoting um, or that was uh, anti-inflammatory and I stopped eating all the foods that promoted inflammation in the body, um, you know, that of course, yes, I would lose weight, but, but the inflammation would go so drastically down. And I just didn't even think that that would go that it would happen so much in my fingers, um, you know, my wrists and in my feet, crazy. So I used to wear a size 10 and now I'm like an eight and a half. It, I literally had to get rid of my shoe, like most of my shoes. I still have some tennis shoes and stuff that I, you know, tie on and work on the farm at my parents' farm and stuff with, but like my ballet flats I had to get rid of, my heels, which I really don't wear heels anymore, but I, I couldn't believe that my all my shoes were like flying off my feet. So as a bonus, I get to, I got to get some cute new shoes. <laughs> the second thing that I did not expect to happen during my 80 pound weight loss was my skin changing so drastically. So my, you, I probably look really white cause I'm sitting in front of a window, but I was like paper white, <laughs> my face. I was so white. My skin, oh, there we go. There's some shadows. So my skin got significantly shades darker um, because I was feeding my body with foods that are super helpful for your skin. And before I was not eating any of those foods, right? I wasn't having citrus, sweet potatoes, anything like that. And the more and more that I ate those foods, the foods that were helpful for my skin, my body, my hair, um, all of that, um, the darker and more clear my skin got. And I just really didn't think of this, you know, at the beginning of my journey when I was like, oh, you know, I really want to lose weight. I mean, one of the things on my list was not to have clearer skin, but that is what happened. And I used to wear so much, so much makeup. I would wear like, I would have primer and then I would have like layers and layers of liquid foundation and I would have to keep like reapplying throughout the day to hide all my blemishes and to hide my um, uneven skin. And there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup at all. I'm not saying that, but I was wearing makeup to hide behind, um, I guess myself or to mask uh, a lot of things I was unhappy with and to kind of put on a show. That's why I was wearing makeup for the majority of my um, like high school, college, and you know, early twenties. Um, but now my skin, I'll hold up this paper again so you can kind of see it'll block the, um, there we go. I mean, my skin is very, very even. I just have light powder on today as far as, um, foundation wise, but I just didn't expect my skin to be so clear. I, I wore so much makeup. I was, I always had just acne everywhere and I still get a blemish here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty clear and, um, it's, it's just really great. I really didn't change my skincare routine at all 
Um, I just use a mud soap bar and um, moisturizer, and that's that's pretty much it. It's it all cleared up because of my lifestyle change and my nutrition and feeding my body foods that were good for the skin and not eating foods that were horrible for the skin. Number three, the next thing I did not expect to happen as I lost over 80 pounds was now I'm eating a five pound bag of clementines versus, well, I guess I should say a pound bag. Now I'm eating a pound of citrus instead of a pound uh, bag of fun size Snickers bars. And this, I never really expected to stop eating junk food. I just expected to kind of reduce it. When I first changed my lifestyle, I was like, okay, well, it's all about portion control, right? It's all about moderation. And I'm never going to give up donuts. I'll just reduce the amount. I'm never going to give up Snickers or Milky Ways. I'll just reduce the amount. And I never expected now to be like so pumped to eat an entire bag of like those little cutie clementines and like not give a shit about Snickers bars. Like I could, they don't do anything for me now. I haven't had a candy bar in ugh, a long time. And I didn't expect that to happen. I did not expect to be so happy with fruit as a snack or as my, as my sweet go-to. Um, my girlfriend Allie and I went to a, um, went to California last September on an impromptu kind of girls week long trip, impromptu trip. And we went through three five pound bags of clementines during the trip, which means we ate a pound of citrus each a day, I think, if I'm doing my math right, which I'm probably not. Um, but that is something that would not have happened five years ago if we had went on that same road trip or that same, um, that same trip, week long trip, I would have probably had so much candy, so much fast food, so many, you know, uh, car snacks that are just horrible. Um, but on this trip, we ate a pound of citrus every day and we would just eat clementines in the car, you know, the whole way drive down Highway 1. It was great. You know, we took a bunch of clementines to the beach. <laughs> I have this picture of my towel at the beach and there's just like six clementines on the towel with the ocean in the background. I'll post it below. It's really cute. But um, I didn't I didn't think that I was going to be doing stuff like that, you know, years ago um, or at the beginning of my lifestyle journey. I never thought I'd be taking pictures uh, with pineapples, you know, and getting a kick out of it and thinking it's awesome. But, you know, so many things change. It's not just weight loss. It's not just the number on the scale. It's not just smaller genes. Like so many things come with it. Um, and to go into my fourth thing that I didn't expect to happen, I did not expect to love vegetables this much or really just plants in general. I mean, I like sing rap songs about plants now. Like I get so pumped when there's like a plant-based dish at a restaurant that I can have or like a party or a barbecue or something. Usually I bring my own stuff, but, um, I just get so excited about farmer's markets. I get so excited when blueberries are on sale. I get so excited when I, you know, can make a, a plant-based nacho cheese and put it over some bean noodles and have mac and cheese. Like I get so excited about how, and I think I get so pumped about how, about these, about plants, about vegetables, because they literally saved my life. Like I was, pushing 250 at my peak. I was 233 when I first made my lifestyle change. And I was so lost. I was so lost. I didn't know what I was doing. I, everything was just like, I, I was like a zombie. I was a zombie that ate a bunch of crap food and hid behind cardigans and didn't, you know, uh, didn't really know who she was. Like that was me four years ago. Trey said veggie wrap next video. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Um, but I, I honestly did not think that I was going to love vegetables this much. And let me tell you when I, I, this is coming from a girl who ate, like got up in the middle of the night to crush a bag of donuts. Like I didn't eat vegetables before. I, I didn't like the only vegetables that they had that I had was like the tomato sauce on a pizza or like marinara sauce to dip my cheese sticks in. I mean, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Like I didn't eat vegetables. I didn't eat beans. I really didn't have a lot of fruit. I mean, the only fruit I would have if it was like a piece of like strawberry cheesecake or something, you know, but I didn't, I just didn't eat plants. Um, I ate a lot of refined processed stuff. And 
when I first made my lifestyle change, I, w I didn't think that I would, I knew I would have to eat vegetables. Like I knew I would have to eat, you know, fruit and, and beans and kind of change what, what I was eating, but I didn't think that I would love it so much. I thought that I would have to struggle through this lifestyle change, be dreaming of donuts and Cheetos every single night and like struggle bust through it. And what ended up happening was I just was so open to creating this lifestyle change and was so positive about bringing in the good so that I could heal myself. And, and then so many, so much more great, great things happened that I, I didn't expect. And I didn't expect to feel as good as I, as I feel. I didn't expect to, um, really create this lifestyle that is now something that I would never go back from. Um, I didn't know any of this at the beginning. I thought I would just, you know, I'm just going to try this out. And this is the one thing out of all my fad diets, out of all my yo-yo dieting, this is the one thing that stuck. This lifestyle, this life-saving, life-changing, like, opportunity for you to nourish your body and finally gain your life back, like, this stuck. And this goes into my uh, fifth thing that I didn't expect to happen. I didn't expect to have, I didn't expect to be a, a health coach, like, Four years ago, I was 233 pounds. Like, I had no idea that I was going to be helping others transform their lives, gain their life back, lose weight, overcome emotional eating. I, I did not think that was going to happen. But it ended up happening so naturally because I couldn't not share what was what had changed and saved my life so much. I could not help but share that I no longer get up at 2 in the morning and stuff my face with a bag of donuts. It doesn't happen. Uh, but it happened a lot for the majority of my life before. Um, now I can go to a restaurant and look at a menu and either know I'm going to order this or there's nothing on there for me and I'm really not that hungry so I'll eat when I get home or I eat before I go. Like I have these, I have this lifestyle now that is, it's habit and this didn't happen overnight. It did happen over, you know, uh, a span of a, of a couple of years, you know, to change your lifestyle and to make this your new normal. Um, but I, so much changed for me and I gained my life back in so many ways and I can actually live as me now and I can't not share that with other people. I know that there are thousands of people out there that live right now like I used to live and they have no idea the impact and the changes that they can make and that they are, um, they have the opportunity and the potential to make these changes and to live and to gain their life back and to lose weight and overcome emotional eating. They don't know that this exists. And so that's why I share. That's why I get on lives and do brunch breaks. That's why I coach. That's why I have my membership site, NutriBabe Nation, because I didn't know that this lifestyle existed. I didn't know that this life was out there for me to discover and live and finally live like me and not huff and puff up and down the stairs and not look in the mirror and be so disappointed with who was looking back at me. Like I finally know myself now and I did that. I discovered that through this lifestyle change and I can't help but share this now and help other people do the same thing and live the same way and discover within their own lives who they really are, how happy they can truly be, how healthy they can truly be. And it's like my life's passion now. I can't imagine doing anything else and I can't imagine not sharing with other people. So I'm going to keep taking selfies with pineapples and I'm going to keep sharing them. I'm going to keep talking about real life situations that happen with this lifestyle. I'm going to be raw and real and authentic and tell you like this is how this lifestyle looks. I will never stop sharing this stuff. And, um, I thank you guys all for, you know, hanging out with me every week and being a part of my journey too. And, uh, like, share, comment. If this video helped you and you know it can help other people, share, 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 comment, like, tag somebody below. Um, and also guys, if you want more of me, head to lovechart.com. I have all of my freebies. I have the replays of all the brunch break videos. I have recipes, I have downloads, and I have also information for my monthly membership site, NutriBabe Nation, where there's even more trainings, courses, social platform, access to me, and all that good stuff. So head to lovechart.com and check out more, and I will see you next Tuesday here on the Love Chart page at 11 a.m. Central Time for 
Brunch Break episode 19. Have a good week, guys. Bye.